Hey everybody, this is Mark. We're back in the car with the i70 tablet scanner. It is connected. The car is on. And I'm going to close the door so I don't have to listen to the annoying um, chime. And so what we want to do is we want to, we've, we've already updated this, uh, so we want to run a diagnostic on the vehicle. So in the upper left-hand corner, we'll select VIN and we'll hit automatic read. And the scanner will go through and look for the VIN number of the car. It can take a few minutes. Occasionally you'll run into a vehicle where it will not auto detect the VIN number, but that's okay. You can go in there and manually select the VIN. You can also, uh, and there it comes up right now. It's, uh, it's an, uh, three series E92 2007. There's a vehicle identification. We just hit yes. So that's the car. It did uh, automatically detect the VIN. And just select yes in the lower right hand corner to move to the next menu. And now it's going to go ahead and look at the different various modules that are in the car. This is a BMW. So it's got about 28 different modules uh, in the vehicle. So you got the DME, you got uh, your body control module, your footwell module, all these various modules that are um, performing various functions in the car. And the more sophisticated your car is, the longer this takes. It also will display your battery voltage. We've got a, uh, a Genius Charger set to 13.6 volt mode uh, on the vehicle right now to keep the battery pumped up while we're doing this. just about finished and then it wants us to go to the next menu which would be diagnosis and then we can perform this quick scan this part doesn't take very long at all normally about 30 seconds if you run into problems where it's taking longer than a minute to do this scan uh, just create a trouble ticket and send it to Foxwell and uh, they can they can dig into it find out why it's taken I've had that happen before in a couple of vehicles and Foxwell uh, engineers have modified the software to, to fix that So we've got uh, one fault in the DME. I can tell you which one that is. That's probably the fuel pump plausibility code, which is uh, typical for these cars with the twin turbos and the high pressure fuel pumps. So that completes the scan. It's gonna scroll back up to the top of the menu for the car access system was module one. Then it went into the DME, which is the digital motor electronics, uh, otherwise known as the powertrain control module. And we'll select uh, that down there, I'll hit the read the codes and say what code is the stored in memory for this car. And again, yep, fuel pump plausibility. Not worried about that. Car runs fine. And we'll go back. Uh, you can clear the code just by selecting clear the code. Code's cleared. Okay, we're all good. And then you can go look at live data. So you have the the fuel pressure that we're looking at that would cause that code to come up is the uh, high pressure fuel pump. So we'll, let's look and see what the rail pressure is. So we've got, uh, if we kind of zoom in there, you got about 750 PSI on the uh, high side pressure for the high pressure fuel pump, rev up the engine, and it's going up to 1200 PSI. So there's got good pressure out of the high pressure fuel pump but that's just an example of some of the live data you can also if I wanted to look at that bring that back up I can also graph it out with this scanner so you can see what the, the uh, rail pressure is doing in real time now in this car just uh, to give you another example of things that you can look at with the data, uh, live data, we're going to look at the air conditioning. And if you've got a problem with the air conditioning, you can look at your flat position motors. You can you see, okay, where is the position? Front stratification, flap the defrosting, flap the ventilation, flap the footwell flap. You can bring them all up, select them all, hit OK, and it will tell you uh, the position of them. You can also 
perform active tests where you can actually control the doors with the scanner instead of controlling them with the knobs in the car. So if I want to select defrost, I can select defrost and you'll be able to see the position change as a, as a measure of percent. see the different uh, values changing as I control the various uh, uh, climate control positions. With this scanner you can also, if I go into, I can go directly into drive, chassis, or body control modules and perform different functions. Or I can go back to my main menu and I can perform maintenance functions so this is an example of the page you got your uh, ABS you can uh, bleed your uh, your anti-lock brake control valve um, you got your air free fuel ratio adaptation uh, reset that you can do uh, battery registration you can change the tire sizes in your car so your speedometer uh, reads accurately you got clutch adaptations you know, all these different functions uh, resetting your oil um, after you've done an oil change of course you can do that right in the car as well but uh, all these functions are built into uh, the i70 so that's just a quick rundown of what it looks like uh, when you've got it connected to the car and you're looking at various parameters while the engine's running or you just need to use it to troubleshoot uh, uh, some some system that's in the car that's malfunctioning again if you have any questions go to foxwelltech.us and pull up products go to the i70 tablet scanner